Some riders swear by engine additives, claiming a single bottle transformed their bike's performance. Others, they just ended up with a lighter wallet and a rougher ride. These products promise more power, better mileage, and cleaner engines. But which ones actually work and which ones are just expensive snake oil? Let's break it down and separate the legit from the junk. First up, Tecron Concentrate Plus. This one isn't just marketing fluff, it's backed by real science. Made by Chevron, Tecron is one of the few fuel system cleaners proven to work, especially for clearing up clogged fuel injectors. Its secret weapon? PE Acur, polyetheramine, a chemical that breaks down stubborn carbon deposits. In fact, tests have shown that Tecron can boost your gas mileage by up to 4% and smooth out rough idling after just a single tank. It's especially helpful for riders who store their bikes over winter and then deal with sputtering or misfires in the spring. One tank of Tecron usually fixes it. Number two, Seafoam Motor Treatment. This one's been a fan favorite for decades. Seafoam isn't just a fuel additive, you can also use it in your engine oil and intake system. While it's not quite as powerful as Tecron for dissolving carbon deposits, it's excellent at cleaning out varnish and stabilizing fuel, especially in carbureted bikes. Many riders use it before long storage to keep bad gas from gumming up the system. If your engine's been through some rough miles, adding a little seafoam to your oil can help dissolve grime without harming the seals. It's a great all-around cleaner for preventive maintenance. Number three, Liqui Moly Engine Flush. Think of this like giving your engine a deep cleanse before an oil change. Liqui Moly's engine cleaner doesn't just thin out your oil, it scrubs out old dirt, varnish, and deposits from inside your engine. This German brand has a solid reputation and it works great for both commuter bikes and high performance machines. If you're switching to synthetic oil or dealing with a poorly maintained engine, Liqui Moly is a solid choice. Their lab tests show it can reduce sludge by up to 80% in a single use. Some mechanics swear by it when dealing with engines that have uneven oil pressure or ticking noises when hot. Number four, Marvel Mystery Oil. This one's been around for ages and yeah, the name sounds old school, but it still delivers. It acts as a mild lubricant for both fuel and oil systems. While it doesn't contain powerful detergents like Tecron, it's perfect for older or air-cooled engines. A lot of vintage bike owners add it to their gas to help lubricate the top end of the engine or toss a little into the oil to quiet noisy push rods. One CB750 owner reported that his valve chatter almost vanished after two tanks with Marvel added. Just don't overdo it. It's meant to supplement your oil, not replace it. Number five, Redline SI1 Fuel System Cleaner. This one's made for riders who want maximum performance, especially with newer, high compression engines. Redline SI1 is loaded with powerful detergents containing up to 30% PEA, which is higher than most competitors. That means it hits hard on carbon deposits, cleaning fuel injectors, intake valves, and even helping prevent engine knock caused by cheap gas. It's particularly effective for bikes using ethanol blended fuel, which is known to attract moisture and leave gummy residues. Redline SI1 helps prevent fuel separation in your tank, and test data shows it can remove over 90% of carbon from intake valves and direct injection engines. If you want to keep your fuel system spotless and your throttle crisp, this is the cleaner for you. Number six, Lucas Oil Upper Cylinder Lubricant. Got a bike that feels a bit shaky at idle or makes a lot of noise under load? Lucas Oil's upper cylinder lubricant might smooth things out. It's designed to clean fuel injectors and lubricate critical parts like valves and piston rings, which is a big deal for air-cooled or older engines. By reducing internal friction and improving the seal between rings and cylinder walls, some riders report a small but noticeable bump in throttle response and engine smoothness. It's also ethanol safe and can extend the life of rubber fuel lines, which is great if you're running E10 or higher blends regularly. A smart choice for long distance riders or daily commuters. Number seven, BG44K. This one's a bit more expensive, but many pro mechanics swear by it. BG44K is a high concentration cleaner that you probably won't find at your local auto parts store. It's typically sold through service shops 
It's powerful enough to restore fuel injector flow, fix sluggish acceleration, and clean up poor fuel economy. Shops often use BG44K as a last resort before recommending major engine repairs. One mechanic claimed it boosted injector performance by 15% in just one tank of fuel. You only need to use it once or twice a year for a deep clean. It's the big gun in your arsenal. Not for everyday use, but perfect when your engine's acting up and nothing else seems to work. Number eight, Liqui Moly MOS2 Anti-Friction Treatment. This one's a bit different. It doesn't clean your engine, but it protects it by reducing friction. The star ingredient is molybdenum disulfide, MOS2, which sticks to metal surfaces and forms a layer that reduces wear, especially under high pressure and heat. It's ideal for riders who push their bikes hard, ride in hot climates, or get stuck in city traffic. Unlike some thick oil additives, MOS2 doesn't gum up your system or clog filters. In fact, some users say their oil runs cooler and their engine sounds quieter after adding it during an oil change. Over time, studies show it can reduce wear in high friction areas like cams and bearings by up to 30%. And we're just getting started. The next few additives are even more powerful, plus we'll cover five common ones you should absolutely avoid. No matter what the label promises, if you found this video useful so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more real-world motorcycle advice every week. Number nine, STP Complete Fuel System Cleaner. Not every good additive has to break the bank. STP's Complete Fuel System Cleaner is a budget-friendly option that still packs enough PE to make a difference, especially if you're riding a commuter bike or filling up at gas stations with lower quality fuel. It's not the strongest cleaner on the list, but it does help keep your injectors and valves free of deposits, especially if you use it regularly, say every 3,000 miles. Riders who deal with wet climates or use ethanol blended gas often say their bikes start easier and run smoother after using STP. Just one warning, avoid the cheapest STP bottles, the ones that say ethanol treatment or fuel stabilizer only. They don't offer real cleaning power. Number 10, Rislone Compression Repair with Ring Seal. This one's more specialized. It's for older engines that are losing compression, burning oil, or puffing blue smoke when you hit the starter. Rislone can't perform miracles, but it can help restore compression in tired engines by softening seals and filling in tiny scratches along cylinder walls. It's best used in bikes with 30,000 volt miles or those that have sat unused for a while. Some riders with aging engines have noticed stronger throttle response and reduced oil burning after running Rislone for one full oil cycle. It won't fix a broken ring or cracked piston, but it could delay a major rebuild by a year or more. Now let's switch gears, because not all additives are good. Some are just plain bad for your engine, no matter what the flashy label says. Additives you should avoid number one, cheap octane boosters. If you've seen bottles claiming to boost your octane by 10 points, here's the truth. They're lying, or at least misleading you. Most store-bought octane boosters barely raise your fuel's octane level by 0.5 to 1.0 point, which your bike probably won't even notice. And to be clear, a point isn't a full octane number. Boosting from 91 to 101 is almost impossible without changing your bike's compression ratio or timing, which most riders never do. Unless you're on a track tuned bike that knocks on regular gas, you're wasting your money here. Number two, thick oil additives. You've probably seen some gooey oil treatments that promise to coat engine parts or seal in protection. These often do more harm than good. Anything that makes your oil too thick can prevent it from flowing quickly to sensitive engine components, especially on cold starts. Some of these also contain PTFE Teflon which can break down under high heat and clog your oil passages. Major manufacturers like Yamaha and Honda specifically warn against using these in motorcycles. Your best protection is using high quality synthetic oil, not molasses in a bottle. Number three, radiator sealants. If you're stranded with a leaking radiator in the middle of nowhere, sure, a sealant might get you home, but using these long-term is risky. These leak fixers work by circulating particles or chemical clots through your cooling system to block holes. But they can also block your thermostat or water pump, leading to overheating or worse. 
The proper fix, replace the gasket, hose, or clamp. Don't trust a powder to permanently seal your cooling system. Number four, fuel line magnets. You've probably seen little magnetic clips that claim to polarize or line up fuel molecules for better combustion. Spoiler alert, science says they do nothing. Independent tests and consumer reports found zero improvement in power, economy, or emissions. Don't let flashy packaging fool you. Skip the magnets and spend your cash elsewhere. Five, all-in-one oil and fuel cleaners. Some products promise to clean your fuel system, lube your engine, stabilize gas, and quiet lifters, all in one bottle. In reality, oil and fuel systems require different chemistries, Mixing them only dilutes each function and risks clogged filters or weakened cleaning action. Stick with additives made specifically for each task. Best practices for using additives. Rotate your gas stations. Fuel quality varies by brand and region. Switching stations now and then helps prevent buildup from inconsistent fuel blends. Use a P-based cleaner every 3,000 miles. Products like Tecron or Redline SI1 Keep injectors crystal clean and maximize mileage. Flush before oil changes. A single use of Liqui Moly engine. Flush before draining old oil removes gunk, so your fresh synthetic oil starts in a clean environment. Protect high mileage and air-cooled bikes. Add MOS2 anti-friction treatment during oil changes to reduce wear and quiet noisy valves. Measure carefully. Follow the label's dosage exactly. Overusing any additive can block filters, foul O2 sensors, or thin out oil too much. That's a wrap. Now you know which engine additives are worth your money and which ones are best left on the shelf. If you found these tips valuable, smash that like button, subscribe for more weekly motorcycle maintenance hacks, and ring the bell so you never miss an upload. Drop a comment below, which additive will you try first? Or which one are you ditching for good? Safe riding and see you in the next video.